Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. So uh, my talk today is a little bit different with another one. So it's looking for more head that stuff. I hope you don't be trozy with this one. <laughs> okay. Have you heard that? I think from fluid mechanic, one of the very challenging topics. So, and today I will talking about how to model it and how to apply it in the hydraulic engineering. So it's the content of my talk. Okay, I'm used to look at all the, that one, okay. So I will go through the one. First, I will introduce you what is about turbulence and some characteristic. And particular now, I'm trying to explain you, you the factor geometry, the very specific area from mathematics to explain some phenomena in hydraulic engineering. And I'm going to show you what it is. We are going to calculate the turbulence and uh, I'm compare with the result and some conclusions. So, every people know it's the uh, uh, Navier-Stock equation here, right? The Navier-Stock equation. That is the Okay, that is now a stock equation. It's the uh, 18 and middle 18, I think 1800s. That is the fundamental of the study of fluid mechanics. So it's still millennium problem. That means if we can solve that problem, you can get one million dollars. You know, it's still nonlinear and very challenging problem now. So to solve that problem, it's just usually we have three ways, right? I told you that it's theoretically still mini millennium problem. And then, uh, you know, in 2015, it's a very, you know the guy, Taren Tao, a very genius mathematician. It is 24 years old, only full professor at the UCLA. And he got on, you know, few prize medal on honors, uh, you know, prize from mathematics. And he got uh, that is uh, three million dollar for the breaking through prize, that from the Schuckerberg and Yuri Miller. It, but that is not showing fully theoretical never stock equation. That's only for wave propagation. What does it mean? That's still away from binary layer. Okay, that is only on the surface way. It is still missing the binary layer. Okay. So another one is long time ago, people do experiment. But as you know, that is very, very limited and expensive. And the only way we can consider how to solve Navier stock equation immediately. And that basically we call it CFD, okay? So how now I talk to you, uh, mention you some characteristics of the turbulent, okay? Uh, and I heard from Professor Bay, uh, the le likely today I forgot more at the lecture, okay? Not like a fully uh, research uh, result, and you can see I will mention later some very challenging uh, numeric, numerical simulation later on. So the first one, talking about a turbulent flow, it talking about high Raynaud number, okay? That very high, high Raynaud number. That is the relationship between the initial force and vehicle force, okay? That's talking about a high Raynaud number. And the next one is, now, turbulent is chaotic. Okay, very, you see, the motion is randomly. Okay. The so next one, diffusivity. That is the transfer from momentum, from heat, from mass transfer. If high Raynaud number, but not diffusive, it's not turbulent. Okay. So another one is dissipation. So how about the energy dissipate from large scale to the small scale and dissipate, okay. 
And the next one, a rotation in vortex, you see here, the smoke, or the foggy flow around that here, you see that in the vortices. And the next one is very challenging for a simulation, that the coherent structure, turbulent flow, there are two characters. The first one, it, it randomly, you see it chaotic, but that is still easy because you can simulate it by the Gaussian distribution. Another one is very difficult, that they call it the order of motion, that the motion, but coherent, okay? And how about that later, I will show you. I use the factor geometry, explain how about the coherent rolling of the voltage structure. And for that, uh, capture that properties, you know, you need to deal with two scale, a small scale, a large scale. And for that, we need a lot of simulation that I will tell you later. Okay. Okay. Have you heard about factor geometry? Okay, that is very beautiful from mathematics. So if you have the tree here, Okay, also I told you from small scale, you know the pro motion, right? Look like that. But you cut off the small piece, small window, you will see. The geometry will sell, they call this cell similar. Again, very cell similarity geometry again. Okay. Uh, you see the snow black, the small one. You go down smaller, smaller, smaller scale, you will see the same geometry. Uh, you see here the tree here, you cut up right here, or uh, you cut off small big branch here, you will see this almost the same geometry repeated, repeated again. That is called the factor geometry. So you see that picture, it's very beautiful from River Network in uh, China. You see it look like you from here, you cut here, or you go down small scale here. The geometry is repeated again, very similar. Okay. Here it, uh, how about that it, uh, using the factor ge geometry to explain how about the meandering cell meander. Okay. For that simulation, I believe I read about four publications, uh, two from Nature and two from uh, Science. Very challenging, but very, you know, initial idea to use the factor geometry for the, you know, uh, to study for the river network, a uh, river f uh, morphology. Look at that picture. If I studied, I actually, I do know Professor Popovich, he gave me last week. You see that one, took from NASA, that from the, you know, the, morphology of the river in the Siberia is beautiful, but the same, that is factor, okay? Or here, it's this, you know, the alluvial channel, that is also factor. You cut here, or you cut right, it's more big here. Geometry is so similar again and again. That is the beautiful of the nature. So here, you see that in another one, it's brighter river in Iceland. See, the big one, we cut a window here, a cut smaller one here. You see the same geometry, repeat again, okay. Okay, some of that, just so you the very nice picture from the idea from Factor. And now, oh, it's not that one, okay, here. Now I'm going to give that one to tell you what about the, the voltage in turbulent is stretching. That the first one. Have you ever met the, uh, you know, to bake the cake at flour? You roll this flour for that one, and you roll it, and it gets tighter to longer, right? And then that roll it again, roll it again. That is the voltage stretching and roll, roll, roll from large scale to a small scale. Okay. That is again. That is the idea from factor geometry. Okay, see here, see that picture. From here, you inject another smoke perpendicular with that one. You will see. First one, I have two vortices, 
two vertices here. And then, very large one, the second one you see build up four vertices. And you see the scale is smaller. Okay, that is the, the idea. The energy dissipates from large scale to small scale. And again, next one we have here six vertices. And get smaller and now it's energy dissipated. Okay, that is the idea from vortex, you know, uh, structure. So, to simulate the turbulent structure is very you know, challenging because we need to capture both scale. From the small scale here, they call it micro scale, con uh, con 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 scale, and another one is large scale. If you relate ratio between two scale, okay, look at that one. Remember the Raynaud number in the nature is usually million. Okay, million. For example here, I just had one example, smaller one, 10,000. 10,000, you see here. I, if I want to capture for both scale, my grid cell should be like one meter, another one is one millimeter. Okay, that only for Raynaud number. And one million. You will see, you know, three more, you know, three more order larger. It is very, very challenging to capture for both scale. Even for time scale, also the same problem. Okay, the one is one hour, another one with second. That is very difficult. Okay. So to do that, there are three ways. The first one, they call it. The first one is usually overwhelming from up to now for the computer facility. We only do the random medical simulation. It means totally taking the navier stock equation, solving numerically fully. Everything is keep the same. And then for that up to now, up to now for supercomputer, we can solve the random number up to 5,000, 8,000, no more larger, okay? But I told you in the, in the, in the nature, the Renault number is million. So that's very difficult. The next one is we use the filter. We simulate the large scale and a um, separate scale, we model it. And then one more, you know, very popular, we will use so up to now, you know, like 30, 50 years still using this one, they call the Raynaud average Navier stock equation. It means we are going to model the whole Navier stock equation. Average, okay, they call it the Raynaud average Navier stock equation. So that is currently, I show you three methods to solve, to simulate or to calculate the turbulent structure. So, I must give it the third one. I just emphasize here, if student, you are going to take the class talking about Raynaud every Navier stock equation. Don't be confused that it it's not time every. Okay, remember it's not time every. Many students confuse it. Okay, that is Raynaud decomposition. It means you decompose your True value in the average value and another one fluctuating, no matter what. That is the most beautiful of mathematics, they can say that. But in reality, we will confuse with that one. That is the time average. But that is not the time average. That you have a, a thousand or ensemble, and then you took that average. That's the time still stay here. Right, it's that they call it urine that is unsteady Raynaud every Navier stock equation. So remember that it is different. So okay, I skip it because after after the average, you will got the term. In substitute in the Navier stock equation, you will see you got the new term here, new term, new term here, and how to do with that. That is the reason why you need the model of the term. 
So they term they call it renal states. Okay. So and the basic idea this view is that Pusinate approximation. The basic is based on the laminar flow. Look at that here. That is, you remember that part from me, that is from lamina. If I use me here, that is for the molecular, right? That is, now the same here, I just substitute here, that is turbulent viscosity. And that is the idea from lamina flow. And then for this approximation, we stuck here K kinetic energy. We stuck here with mu T. That is the AT viscosity, right? So we need to model that one. Now I'm going to introduce you the number of the and then I'm going to compare that using the simulation and see what's going on. The first one, very popular, that is two equation. Two equation, what does it mean? It means you simulate the term using only two equations. They call it kinetic energy and uh, energy dissipation, the key and epsilon. The first one, that you see here, that is long time ago, almost 40 years ago, using at the Empirical College in London. And one of my professors in Kanshua, Rodi, he the working with the group. He have working together that. And this model, you know, still apply up today, okay? So here, that is, you saw here, kinetic energy equation and dissipation equation, okay? That is the kind of standard key epsilon model, very simple one, okay? So, but that working only for, for high Raynaud number, for the low Raynaud number, near to the boundary, near to the wall, not working. So we need to use some technique, they call it damping function. That is the one we deal with, uh, one damping function near to the wall. And for that, I just show you how to set up the model, okay? For the, you have the domain, you have inlet, you have outlet, you have the wall, you have the surface, okay? You need to deal that with hydraulic engineering or any other, okay? So, Third one, inlet. How you set it up? Here is the, the condition at the inlet. Okay, you need to provide kinetic energy dissipation. Look at that, complicated, but very simple. If you know the, the particular based on the turbulent intensity and that here is L, it, uh, they call it characteristic length. My, many students confuse this one, characteristic length. That up to your modeling. For example, I model the flow around the cylinder like that. My characteristic length should be the diameter of the cylinder. I'm going to simulate in the river. My characteristic length is actually they call it hydraulic radar, but not easy one, water depth. Right? So you flow around the building, what is your characteristic length? The height of the building. That it depends on your, and then you set it up easily. So here is some more specific, uh, if I might skip it because detail. And near to the wall, we need to use the wall function. That is logarithmic velocity profile, okay. Here it logarithmic, actually, the graph here will show you logarithmic because that we you should see it very linear here, but that actually if you y flood only you see the logarithmic profile. Okay, here what logarithmic profile. And near to the wall is linear. Yeah, linear. That is the con near to the wall is the wall function using in the uh, using the velocity, the logarithmic velocity profile. And here should provide you here. And if you deal with the RevNet, you have some specific formula that is the RevNet, RevNet high. Okay. So for the outlet or symmetry, you can use that it is Neumann boundary condition. Particular for hydraulic engineering, you need to deal with the free surface. It's very challenging because that is the way surface. So you use at the moving grid, that means you 
remove the grid moving with your simulation. Another one you can do with full or more fluid. You do with two phase flow, the air and the water. You check in the the concentration between two air and water. You get capture the free surface. So I'm not going to detail with that, but I just tell you what is the key epsilon model can do is that the advantage is easy, okay? And you know the tradition is some you know convert easily, easily set up, but that is the inherent a lot of disadvantage for the flow with the separation, flow with the strongly curvature or swirl, key epsilon model gave up. Okay, and what we do now? We need to move a little bit more. And then the next for example here I show you here. Here the 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 pipe, okay, here the pipe, I made a symmetry here. For comparison, you can see here that the observation here is simulation using key epsilon model. You see how much different. Separation flow here. Using key epsilon model it over predicted. Okay, and capture here the core flow is different here. A lot of you know, you know dis differences between the numeri numerical model and s simulation uh, and observation. So we need to move a little bit further. You R and Z, R and Z. Okay, the R and Z. The only thing different we add in one more term here. That from uh, no more no no more uh, no the no the normalization growth, they add in R here. In the, for the key epsilon model, it, epsilon is so simple. So they add one more term here. Okay, R. R is here. That's here, improvement. Okay, it not much improvement, but it improve a little bit here. For high stream curvature can capture more precise compared with key epsilon model. Uh, some kind of with the heat and mass transfer or transition flow, it's a little bit better, but still poor. Now we move a little bit more. They call realizable key epsilon model. Realizable key epsilon model is the only different here. Uh, you remember, uh, what? here. Here it gives long model. I use the CV constant. Realizable now CV no longer constant. Let it move. Okay. And then Okay, here it's realizable. Okay. Let it CV no longer constant. CV in key epsilon model at zero point zero nine. But now it lets it move with key kinetic energy and dissipation. And see what the improvement. Here is the improvement. Okay, that is for the boundary layer. It's a little bit improvement, rotation, circulation, and strong stream curvature improvement. But still not, not enough. So we know with nonlinear model. Okay. Up to here you have a key epsilon model. And we add one more term here, that is third order and etc. Okay, and see what going on here. That is equation here is quadratic. Okay, order, and then they call it. I'm not going to the formula here. Another one is the cubic. Okay, at quadratic term, another one, and what and cubic term, another one. Okay. And next, for key epsilon model, it's not enough. Now we see the, the, the twin cards apply another model, they call it key over God. Also belong to two equations. Okay, that is a long time ago, you know, it is the time, it's about 30, no, 30 years ago. Okay, and recently it's the uh, mentor, he used HAT key over model. That's the call it the sphere. State transport model. Actually, that is very smart model. Combine key omega and key epsilon together. Turn, they use the function switch on up, turn on where we need to turn on key omega, where we need to turn off. That is at 80. 
Now, uh, another one is V2T also for the uh, two equation model. So, t let's see here, uh, here the transformation. You see here you, the flow, you know, over a step. A step height is the same, the ratio of a step height is the same with a half of the height. Okay, so you see K epsilon, V2F, I and Z, K omega, realizable, realize, uh, K omega, S, S, T, quadratic, that is nonlinear, nonlinear, and that is, uh, that is nonlinear. And here after 200 seconds, you see, very different. The same problem, everything is the same, but the result is totally different, okay? You see how much different if you use different model. Now it's the final step when the solution is got converged. So we get here. Oh, it's very different. The only thing is nonlinear. It is very close result together, and on other, you know, different. I'm simulation only very simple one. Two dimension the flow over step. I give you the idea how much different. So another one, it, you don't need any more model. You use fully the Reynolds state with six components. Okay, for it here, Reynolds state. I already told you what is named Reynolds state here. Split into f five components. The first one, it you know that it um, uh, production. Second one, diffusion. Here, it dissipation. That it here the turbulent turbulent pressure strain, it omega, it uh, the um, rotation, okay? Here you can model it. You can, uh, exact value, here you can model it. Here you can have exact value, this one need to model, this one can have exact value, okay? I skip this one, so on the formula here, I skip it. Okay, what is advantage only Reynolds state no model? You saw you don't use any model. You saw truly the Reynolds every number stock equation. You got more of this side, but up to now, the simulation time is the same with last edge simulation. So it no longer, you know, you use the model, but the same with another one is better. So you should use the better one, okay, with last ID simulation. That is the next That is, I, I remember at the it beginning, beginning, I showed you DNA, last ID simulation, and range. Here it is in between that. This is the one, the basic idea, you split the, block, the value into one is fluctuating, one is the mean value. The first one, you ran it different way. Now they use the filter. They use the filter out, have you, like you use the, the zip, you screen out the beam, right? And the small beam can go through the zip. The larger beam can stay upper, right? It's not the large scale of the turbulence, you stay here. And small scale go through the zip. The zip look like the filter. Okay, this here, the filter. Okay, so after the use the filter, you filter out the last uh, scale and small scale go through. Small scale need to simulate. Okay, the last scale doing directly simulation. That is the basic idea from last ID simulation. Okay, here they have the filter, three filter. The first one they call it top head. Another one is. They from Stanford University, they use that one, another one here. Bow here, very difficult. It unreal, it is rewind very, only for research purpose. For the, you know, the application in the real world, it's, it's not efficiency. So that the first one, actually they call it top head. It's using that based on the grid side. Okay, here is the grid side. Okay, it may look like the zip, I told you. That is the grid side. The larger one keep it, the small one let through. Okay. The small one they call it sub scale. 
Okay, after that, substitute in Navier stock equation, apply here and the end, you will get the one. This here, they call it very similar to Raynaud state, they call it separate scale state. And for that, we split into three terms. Leonard states, cross state, and less Raynaud state. That is the one. And we are going to deal with that one. It looks like very similar to turbulent Raynaud state here. Uh, okay. And to simulate that one, we have the idea is the same with the Raynaud state. We use here. So it looks like one. Very similar with the Raynaud state. So this guy, we need to model that. Okay, this guy, we need to model that. And to, so they have many, many models. Okay, for example, the first one, this one, they call, the, don't use any equation. They call the same with missing land in, in Raynaud Street, Raynaud Avery. Uh, we use one model, a uh, one equation, like here. The same with one equation in Raynaud state, Raynaud every number stock equation, etc. Okay, so here is set up the boundary condition. The only thing very challenging with Raynaud every number stock equation, the Y flood is between 30 to 300. The Y flood less than one. Y flood show you the phi, the density of the the match near to the wall, okay, to capture the boundary layer. That is very fine grade. And the inflow is very inlet, very challenging, okay, very challenging. Okay, the out, outlet here. I, I might skip it. How many times is still have, sir? Okay. Over? Oh, oh okay. So now I show you some uh, uh, some truly application. This is the the observation. Okay, the flow over step here from the the my lab in in, in river lab in Germany, and they do a lot of simulation here. And I show you now it's just some more picture. Okay, here I compare with rain model and less. You can see how much different. Less keeps a very good one. Yeah, the light is the black one, uh, the, 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 the blue one, and that is drain the black one. You see how much different, okay? Compare with here it observation. The light is capture very good. And another one here is experiment from, uh, you know, at NU. And here is some cross section here, remember that? And we here compare here. The secondary flow, you see here it ran, here it, it less. Rain it fell near to the wall, but less still capture very good near to the wall. Okay? The same idea that. Now, I'll show you some more movie. Here is the flow around the cubic. And the f uh, here you the realizable key epsilon, here it lost at the simulation. You will see here. You see how much different between two models. Here is the vortex. You see that the vortex here from realizable, here is the less. You see, it's totally different. Very much different. Here, the vortex here more, here is less vortices. Okay, next one. Compare that with the simulation here, you will see let it capture the flow after the, 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 the block. It's more precise here. And here, another movie. The flow along the, around the, the um, cylinder. The upper one is the less, the lower is the key epsilon model. You see, it's very much different. All right? I have a lot of movie here, I skip it. Another one is the same idea, but I use different model. Right? Realizable, ING, and less, you see, three, Model so a lot of different. You see the same problem, but you apply different turbulent model, you get totally different result. Okay, very interesting. Uh, keep in mind that 
when you start to do a turbulent model, you need to know, okay, which model is fit with your simulation. And here I capture the free surface using key epsilon here it last at the simulation. You see how much different here. The more challenging it captures the free surface, the flow up uh, uh, um, over a step here. You see that it less and that it key epsilon model. Very, you know, it's like unsteady situation. And here it, uh, you know, steer in the tank. You will see that it's a voltage structure. And now I show you the last one, very precise, very simple one. The flow in the, in the, 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 the cube, but open the cyclic, the flow outside here. People said the flow just stayed here. No secondary flow, right? And you keep in mind, you think, okay, the flow stayed here. But actually you do a very precise, you will see, That is secondary flow. Where the cut, you made a cut here, you see the flow data. But we said, okay, the flow data, never you can see the secondary flow. But the truly, you see that. That is, I, I, drove, I run it with a red numerical simulation, it with very low Raynaud number. Okay? So, here I just summarize you how to use that one. Okay. Here is the curve. So you how the facility of the numeric, the high performance computing, CPU time, a number of the crit size, and you see here that it for the zero thing what I show you there, the internet still you know how many cell you hear that it require you know very large, uh, strong computer led in the between here and then it going down here, okay. Okay, here's my conclusion. Okay, remember, uh, if you do something, you don't need to challenge in your turbulent uh, structure. Two equations, key epsilon model, still alive. Like you do in river. Okay, are you large scale, five kilometer, 10 kilometer of the river? Who will provide you the data to validate the turbulent structure? No way, right? It no no sense to do that way, but you want to capture a smaller structure, like around the hydraulic structure or somewhere small scale. You might do with loss at this relation. DNA still certainly still low Raynaud number. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry, I I just burned. <laughs>